The headlines in this edition. Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt held trilateral meeting on GERD. And Kenya joins list of nations ordering China developed vaccine. Hello and welcome to our this news hour. I'm Daniel Kasahun with the news. The virtual meeting of ministers of foreign affairs and ministers of water affairs of Ethiopia, Egypt, and the Sudan held uh, yesterday. The meeting is convened by the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation of South Africa and Chairperson of the African Union Executive Council. The meeting is convened by the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation of South Africa and Chairperson of the African Union Executive Council. This ministerial exchange of views on the continuation of the trilateral negotiations focusing on a draft document presented by experts assigned by the chairperson of the African Union. This is according to a press release issued by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Ethiopia pronounced its positive outlook toward the draft document and expressed its willingness to use it as a single work document for the trilateral negotiation. Similarly, Sudan conveyed the importance of the document for the progress of the negotiation and its willingness with the defined role of the African Union experts. Egypt categorically rejected the document uh, according to the release. Most of the issues on the first filling and annual operation of the GERD are agreed upon. The main difference lies on the correlation between the GERD guidelines and rules and the future water development projects on the Abbey Basin, it indicated. The GERD is a non-consumptive hydroelectric generating dam. Any agreement over the dam which is being negotiated in the absence of a comprehensive water treaty and the prevalence of an unjust status quo shall be considerate of these fundamental factors. Ethiopia will not agree to a GERD deal that will in any way restrict its rights to use the Nile waters, said the statement by the ministry. On the basis, Ethiopia is committed to conclude the negotiation with good faith to reach an agreement. Accordingly, Ethiopia forwarded alternative approach to Egypt and the Sudan, which is hoped to garner the affirmative response, it added. In the coming week, the trilateral meeting will continue at experts level with oversight of ministers of water affairs to text talk of agreed and outstanding issues to be presented to the six ministers meeting that is expected to be held on Sunday, the 10th of January 2021, the release noted. The Ministry of Agriculture says the country is undergoing by bidding to buy five airplanes that will significantly assist the prevention activities of swarm infestation that pose a threat on agricultural production. Agriculture State Minister Manda Frongose told the Ethiopian Herald that increasing the number of aerial sprayers is crucial to effectively prevent the swarm that currently is threatening some parts of Somali regional state. He said the country is in a process to buy five airplanes, of which two are surveyors and the remaining three are sprayers. The total cost for the planes is $10 million, and the country has secured the finance, he added. France and Israel are among the seven countries that are participating in the bidding process, he said. According to Mandefro, the purchase will be completed this Ethiopian fiscal year. The administration of Gondor Town says it's making all the required preparations to host the upcoming Epiphany celebration. Learning from devastating failures from previous events, a lot of changes are said to be in place to make a successful religious ceremony. Let's take a look. Epiphany celebration, which marks the baptism of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist, is one of the religious events in Ethiopia. Tamkat, Ethiopia's Feast of the Epiphany, is one of the highest and holiest holidays in the Ethiopian Orthodox Christian calendar and is celebrated on the 19th of January every year. 
The word "tamkat" from the Gaz word "astereo," meaning to reveal, refers to the revelation associated with the Church's theology, which is the unity of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost during the baptism of Christ. The tabot, a replica of the Ark of the Covenant, stays overnight. If the water and ceremonies continue overnight at the eve of the Epiphany. For this year's event, the administration of Gondor Town, where the celebration gets epic, says it is making all the required readiness to host a funny celebration. We have considered this huge religious event as a great means to revive the town from depression. The economy needs to be enhanced using this great opportunity. We aspire a lot to secure huge revenue from local and foreign visitors. As we all know, Epiphany is one of the intangible heritage of Ethiopia registered by UNESCO. Mayor of Gondor Town, Mola Malako, for his part indicated this year's celebration is believed to bring together guests from neighboring countries and from abroad. We have invited guests from many parts of the country and from neighbors of Ethiopia. This way, we can strengthen Ethiopia's relation with other nations. The platform is also instrumental to advertise Ethiopia to the rest of the world. It has a unifying effect among the nation, nationalities and peoples of Ethiopia. The mayor also indicated the town administration is ready to exploit the opportunity for hosting an investment forum to help the town grow. If further highlighted, all the necessary preparations are made to make the event peaceful and successful, learning from devastating failures from previous events. You're watching at this news hour. COVID-19 is still affecting lives of many and the world's economy. A new variant of it has reported in some countries, including United Kingdom, the United States, South Africa, and China, while they are struggling to contain the former type. The Ethiopian Public Health Institute said it's working hard to prevent the emergency of the new strain of the COVID-19 pandemic. Imanu Jorge presents the following report. It has been a year since COVID-19 was taken as a threat to the world community. And so far, over 84 million people are victims of COVID-19 pandemic in the world, and among them, over 1.8 million have died. Also in Africa, there are more than 2.7 million confirmed cases of coronavirus disease, and over 2.2 million recovered when around 64,000 lives have passed away. Deputy Director of Ethiopian Public Health Institute, Estralo Baini, said, the institute is working to prevent the emergency of the new variant of COVID-19. We are doing a screening at the airport uh, for COVID-19 to prevent COVID-19. We are also uh, heard about the COVID-19, the new uh, strain. So uh, we have uh, a risk to get that uh, kind of uh, new strain in, in Ethiopia because we are flying uh, to different countries of uh, like Europe, American, in, uh, even in all in, in, in Africa through Ethiopian Airlines. There's a lot of uh, risks are there, so we need to mitigate and uh, work on uh, prevention areas. So uh, the risk is, is high because the current COVID-19 situation in Ethiopia is, uh, is became worse. He added that they are working to mobilize the public to make precautionary measures as part of their lifestyle. And now we are trying to uh, address uh, by uh, mobilizing the community to use masks at the national level and uh, at each level when they move from place to place. Uh, nowadays, uh, mask utilization, it is very low, so we need to push uh, to use most of the community members to use uh, masks and also keeping physical distance and as well as hand hygiene also another critical areas, so no mask, no service is one of the initiatives which, which will be uh, launched very soon by uh, uh, the presence of His Excellency Prime Minister Dr. Abi and also Her Excellency President uh, uh, Salawak as well as uh, the Deputy Prime Minister. In a research conducted in Ethiopia by WHO, 87% of the people is well aware of the COVID-19 pandemic and Ethiopian artists have played the greatest role in informing the public along the media houses. We were having big parts just to uh, get to, to give information for the public. We were working very hard day and night, 
and the result is, I think, known to everybody. Without, we work, we artists, Ethiopian artists work without any payment for this long time. We should restart our efforts that we were having, giving to the public and the country. So we will try our best uh, as a civil society organization. Uh, my company or my institution, Ethiopian Filmmakers Association, will try with its best or our best, including the members, uh, to fight against COVID. So we'll do that with, together with your media people. So we will try our best for the country and for the people. The Ethiopian Public Health Institute mentioned that they have succeeded in some aspects of combating against COVID-19 when Ethiopian Public Health Institute discussed on reminding the public about the precautions and spread of the pandemic with autists.